A roundtable discussion today at Buffalo Wild Wings in Marquette brought together servers, State Rep Jen Hill, and the organization Save My Tips to address the recent Michigan Supreme Court ruling that would mandate restaurants and bars to pay servers and bartenders minimum wage. This conversation comes amid strong opposition from the Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association, which has been hosting similar discussions throughout the state. At the heart of the debate is the potential impact of the ruling on the livelihoods of servers. I mean, the background behind position is twofold. One, 83% of servers have said, we want this left exactly the way it is. We like the status quo, we like the flexibility, and we make way more than minimum wage, so don't change it. Uh, and then on the business operations side, uh, if this were to go through as, as proposed by the Supreme Court, one in five full service restaurants would close and about 50,000 people uh, would lose their jobs and most of those jobs would be tip servers. McNamara also pointed to data from Washington, D.C., where similar wage policies have led to job losses and restaurant closures. Devin Dickerson, a server at Buffalo Wild Wings, shared his perspective. More so concerned, I guess, with like the customer aspect of it. And there is kind of been a little bit of lax as far as like how you treat your customer service employees. And I think that that's just going to kind of compact on top of that by making people feel more entitled or like almost like we have to do this, we're getting this amount of pay and that's making a lot of people more apprehensive about continuing to serve in the future. Dickerson also expressed concerns about job security for his colleagues, many of whom are college students. I've been here for about three years and I've seen a lot of people come and go but there are definitely a lot of people who have made careers out of serving and now their careers are kind of on the line because it's all the uncertainty involving that. And a lot of the people that I have been working with are college age students and we are going to graduate and move on and get different jobs. But I know for a lot of the people that I've worked with here and that have been consistent and steady here, it is a really big concern for them because they are unsure if they're going to be able to pay for daycare for their kids or to support their families and their children financially um, because it would ultimately result in them making less. While the discussion today featured voices from the restaurant industry and its supporters, the organization One Fair Wage has stated that increasing wages will enable hundreds of thousands of Michigan servers to earn a living wage. They argue that a fair wage can lead to improved job stability and satisfaction for workers in the service industry. As the debate continues, the future of Michigan's tipping culture and the livelihoods of its servers hang in the balance. The conversation is far from over, with both sides preparing for further discussions. For my UP News in Marquette, I'm Andrew Lawrencer.